Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Source Code, my name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be just quickly making a tutorial on how to create a kick plugin inside of Bungie Cord. And now this is going to be directly on Bungie Cord using proxy and the proxy server and everything. And so let's go ahead and just start up our service here. Once again, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. So if you guys have some trouble, go over there and check it out. And I just got to make sure I pull everything over into here or you guys won't be able to see what's going on. Okay, so let's start this up. Let's refresh and let's join. So in the last video you saw I had this, this setup over here and this was actually for this video but I actually decided to do the configs first because we're gonna do a kick plugin today and then on Thursday we're actually gonna do a band plugin uh, using the configuration. Uh, so when in Bungie Cord, for anybody who's not 100% familiar, what happens is the Bungie Cord server, this one right here, is actually more like a gate uh, that leads to a bunch of tunnels, right? Or, well, yeah, that's a good way to explain it. So this blue right here is our bungee cord server. This is the gate that it has to get by. And then these are our individual servers here, the yellow, pink, and green. So how bungee cord acts is a bungee cord is like the gatekeeper, right? So bungee cord processes the join request. And then from there, it decides where to kick the players off to. So what we're going to do is <clears throat> not so much in this video, but in the next video is going to be really important to understand this. Uh, but for this video, we are going to do the kicking right on our bungee cord server rather than on our individual servers. So that way, no matter what server they are on, this command is going to process through here and it's going to say, hey, Malik Debusic is on this, this yellow server here, kick him out of there. So just keep that in mind when we're doing this. Um, this is actually a really easy, really short video. I'm honestly spending more time explaining what is happening than how long it's going to take us to actually write this out. So let's hop back into IntelliJ here. And the first things first is we need to go ahead and basically set up our command. Now we're going to make it so this command uh, can be used in server <coughs> or in the console. So we don't need to actually check to see if the player is an instance of, or if the command center is an instance of player. So we're just going to go ahead and say if args dot length is greater than one, because we want it to be greater than one. And if it's not, then you can go ahead and create a message, you know, just explaining what they have to do. Um, right. So if args is greater than one, and then we're going to say if args, oops, args zero dot equals ignore case player dot get display name and what we we skipped over a huge step here so we need to go ahead and say for proxy player player this is going to be bungee main dot get instance dot get proxy dot get players okay so now what we can do is now that that's all set there what we can do is we're going to go ahead and now this is checking to make sure our args are longer than one uh, and if not let's just go ahead and say else uh, bungee main dot get instance dot get logger dot info and we'll just say check color dot red and then we'll just say kick player name and the reason and can I actually do severe? No, okay, just info. Couldn't remember if I could do severe or not. Okay, so now what's happening, so it's making sure our args are greater than one, because if they're not, then we are not putting the player name or the reason. And then what's happening is we are checking to see if arg zero is the actual player, and if that player exists here. Uh, and let's just do a quick um, dot size is equal to zero uh, return just in case you know it's always good to just put those in there so that way it's not getting a null player <clears throat> okay then what we're gonna go ahead and say is now we can make a check to make sure the player actually exists um, pretty easy so we can just go ahead and say if oops uh, duh, 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 duh. 
Who's doing RQ square now? Well, actually, no, we don't need to because we're doing it right here. It's checking to see if that player exists. So if it doesn't, we can actually just go ahead and say um, command sender. Well, we're going to have to instance that. Well, we'll just go ahead and say command sender .send message new text component check color dot red player does not exist. Okay, now inside of here, we can go ahead and start writing out our commands. So we're actually gonna go ahead and set arg zero to nothing because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take, we're gonna do a string builder so we can take all the args after arg zero and make that the reason so it prints out nice. So then what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and say string builder and we'll just say string builder equals a new string builder. Then from here, we're gonna say for string arg args and then we're just going to string builder dot append arg and then we're just gonna do another append and then a space. So now that's done. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and say string, new string equals string builder dot to string. And then what we'll say is player disconnect and then a new text component check color dot red and then it is going to be plus new string. Pretty easy stuff, right? So now if we go ahead and build this and let's, uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. there we go. Let's get rid of that. Let's run this. Now we still gonna have our bungee mate. We're still gonna have our config code. Uh, so don't worry about that. And just so you know, for anybody who wasn't here for the commands video, uh, you just gotta make sure that you register it on your main class here with the Git proxy, Git plugin manager, uh, register commands. Okay. Pretty easy. So what we're gonna do now is we will just go ahead and join the server. And you can see I'm on the server. And now if we go ahead and do kick Malik debusic, well, we'll do uh, Malik here and we'll say, very bad. So actually command not found. Kick, oh, because uh, I didn't write the command in here. So command is kick. And let's uh, try that one more time here. Pull that back there. Let's rejoin. And if I go here now, I can go ahead and do kick M bad. And you can say player does not exist, but if we go ahead and do kick Malik D Busick, and we'll say spamming chat naughty. And I go ahead and get kicked from the server. And now what's, like I said before, what's great about this is if we start up our other server here, so we have our hub server and we have our survival server here. So it doesn't matter what server I'm on. So if I actually go ahead and do server survival, you can see there that uh, if I do slash server now, I am on survival. And if I go ahead and do the same command, it kicks me no matter what server I'm on. But at the same time, I can rejoin and I can actually just go ahead and do it right on here too. So I can go ahead and kick my link to music, bad boy. And it works on here too. So having the bungee cord kick system is a really good system because it's, it's like very multifunctional. You can use it on the main server, you can use it on any server, and you can use it on the console, which is really great and really awesome. And this is gonna translate into our next video, which is gonna be about banning players and looking at a configuration uh, to see if that player is banned. So I just want to thank everybody for tuning into this episode. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.